place your hands on the wall with your arms straight. So you're basically in a, a plank position, just upright, okay? Keep your arms straight and inhale, let your chest sag towards the wall. So you feel your shoulder blades kind of disconnect. And then exhale, push the wall away. It's not a cat spine, but spread your shoulder blades towards your armpits. Inhale, sink your chest between your arms and exhale, push the wall away, spread your shoulder blades. Do that a couple more times. Sink the shoulders and then push, spread shoulder blades wide. Last time like this. Now keep this feeling of pushing your hands into the wall. Walk your feet back a bit and slide your hands down so they're about level with your hips. Bend your knees, push into your feet and lift your sit bones. Press into your palms and feel that same action of your shoulder blades spreading wide towards your armpits. Okay, so here you are basically in your down dog, trying to feel shoulder blades spread across your back instead of shoulders rising towards your ears. Okay, now come down to hands and knees. We're going to add to this shoulder engagement and I'll face you for this piece. Tabletop and take your left hand behind your head. Point your left elbow out to the side. Now breathe in, open yourself up into a twist. Left elbow turns up, chest turns up. Exhale, left elbow towards right wrist. Inhale, push the ground away. Open the left elbow, open your chest. Exhale, elbow towards wrist. Inhale, push right hand into the ground really strongly as you open. Exhale, curl. Breathe in, open up. Exhale, curl in. Two more times, inhale, push the ground away. Even feel like right hand is pushing to the right. Exhale. One more time, open up. Exhale, curl in. Now release the left hand down. You might feel a little bit of something awakening around right rotator cuff, right shoulder. Now set right hand behind your head. Push into that left hand, just like you did on the wall. Inhale, open yourself up, right elbow up, and just notice if one side's a little harder. Exhale, elbow towards the left wrist. Inhale, push the ground away. Open up with your chest. Exhale, curl, elbow towards the wrist. Inhale, push the left hand down. Imagine left hand pushing left as well. Exhale, elbow to wrist. Three times, breathe in fully. Exhale completely. Two times, get your wings as wide as you can. Exhale. Last time. Exhale. Now release both hands down. Walk your hands forward a hand print and come into downward facing dog. Bend your knees, lift your sit bones and feel both hands press down. Base of your palm on the pinky side base of your palm on the uh, thumb side, base of your pinky finger at the top of your palm, base of your index finger at the top of your palm. Now take many steps, walk yourself forward, front of the mat, bend your knees and let your head hang down. Inhale, rise up to a flat back. Lift your sit bones as well and exhale, hang your head down. Inhale, rise all the way up to standing. Hold on to the left wrist, stretch up and over to the right. Breathe into neutral. Exhale, hold the right wrist, stretch up and over to the left. Now breathe in, reach upright. Exhale, fold in half. 
Step your left leg back to a lunge and tap the back knee down. Flip the top of your left foot to the floor and press the pinky toe down. Inhale, stretch your arms up. And exhale, place your hands down. Step back, plank pose. Inhale, push into the hands like you have been doing and then go slow to the floor. Roll shoulders back, inhale, cobra. Exhale, push through hands, maybe push on tops of the feet, plank. Go back, downward facing dog. Inhale fully. Exhale, step the left foot forward, lunge. Back knee down, flip the top of the right foot, press the pinky toe. Inhale, sweep your arms forward and up, lift your rib cage. Exhale, plant your hands, step forward, forward bend. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, hang your head down. Inhale, stand all the way up. Hold the left wrist, reach to the right. Breathe into the center, hold the right wrist. Exhale, reach to the left. Breathe into the center. Exhale, fold yourself in half. Breathe in, come up halfway. Lift sit bones as well. Exhale, step the right leg back. Tap the right knee down, top of the foot down. Inhale, reach forward and up. Exhale, plant your hands, plank pose. Deep breath in. Exhale, lower to the mat. Shoulders back, inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, push either tops of the feet, plank, or lower yourself down and then press regular plank to down dog. Inhale, lift your sit bones. Exhale, step the right foot forward. Back knee down, top of the foot down. Inhale, reach forward and up. Exhale, plant your hands, step forward. Inhale, come up halfway. Press into the mounds of your feet. Exhale, hang your head down. Inhale, stand all the way up. Exhale, hold left wrist, reach right. Inhale, center. Hold right wrist, reach left. Inhale, neutral. Exhale, fold in half. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, step the left leg back. Place your left knee down, top of the foot down. Now creep your fingers forward as far as you can, keeping them on the floor, and let them go out towards like 11 and one or 10 and two. Reach your heart forward and your sit bones backwards. Now feel the roots of your feet. Inhale, reach your arms forward and up. Exhale, plant your hands, plank pose. Deep breath in, exhale, lower down. Roll your shoulders, inhale. Exhale, push, downward facing dog. Inhale, tilt the sit bones high. Exhale, step left foot forward. Right foot down, press through that pinky toe. Now walk arms forward as far as you can on the floor. Let them go out a little wider. So you've got knee to armpit, extend your heart through. Inhale, sweep forward and up. Exhale, plant your hands, step forward. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, hang your head, soft knees. Inhale, stand all the way up. Hold left wrist, reach to the right. Breathe into the center. Hold right wrist, reach left. Inhale, back to neutral. Exhale, fold in half. Last round like this. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, right leg back. Foot down. Inhale, creep your hands forward. Exhale, stay here. Reach your chest forward and send both sit bones back. So you feel for deepening the left hip crease. Inhale, reach forward. So you're long, you're long, you're long, all the way up. Exhale, hands down, plank. 
Breathe in here. Exhale, lower down. Shoulders back. Inhale, Cobra Pose. Exhale, you decide how you get back. Downward facing, bend your knees. Inhale, reach sit bones high. Exhale, right foot forward. Back knee down, foot down. Walk your fingers forward. Extend your chest. Feel both sit bones reach back. And when you do, right hip crease might feel a little deeper. Inhale, reach forward. Keep reaching forward all the way up. Exhale, plant your hands. Forward bend. Inhale, halfway rise. Exhale, soften your neck and your mouth. Fold. Inhale, stand all the way up. Exhale, palms to heart this time. Then set your feet hip width if they're not already. Hold opposite elbows overhead. Breathe in, lift your chest. Exhale, side bend to the right. Keep reaching to the right as you circle yourself all the way down. Forward fold, reach elbows towards the ground. Circle to the left. Push into both feet as you rise all the way upright. Side bend to the right. So you're making these circles with your body slowly to feel the roots in your feet. Reach down through your arms over to the left. Push into both feet as you rise all the way upright. Last time to the right. Keep reaching. Keep reaching all the way down and then feel both of your feet anchor as you circle to the left. Try to open up your chest. Pause, switch which forearm is on top. Full breath in, get taller. Exhale, side bend left. Keep reaching left. Circle all the way down to your forward bend. Open up to the right. Press into your feet, reach your elbows high. Two times, slow and steady. Feel where your body goes easily and where it doesn't really want to go. all the way upright. When you arrive there, release your arms. Roll your shoulders up and back and down a couple of times. Now we'll switch focus from the arms to the legs. Now keep your feet that two fists width distance apart. Inhale, stretch your arms up. Exhale, chair pose. Now, typically when we, when we go into chair twists, our knees end up kind of knocking. So before we add a twist, I want you to imagine pushing your knees out like you had one of those circular bands around them. Breathe in, bring your palms together. Exhale, twist to the left. Now pause there. Tack the right sit bone back. Make sure both knees are pressing into that imaginary band. Then you can reach your heart forward and maybe up. Sometimes making the fist with the right hand feels a little bit better, but same focus. Press into your feet, reach your heart forward, and then see what's available. Two more deep breaths. Each time you breathe in, you get a little longer. Now inhale, chair pose. Exhale, twist to the right. Pause. Notice your weight might want to go towards one foot. Tack the left sit bone back. Press into that imaginary band. Then you can reach heart forward. Turn any amount. Inhale, lead with the center of your chest. Exhale, see what's available. Three more breaths, press into both feet. 
sit bones reaching back, heart reaching forward, one more breath. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, fold, head heavy. Inhale to a flat back. Open mouth, exhale, hang your head. Inhale, stand all the way up. Exhale, palms in front of your heart. Turn to face the wall. So, just like we started, that sort of upright L pose on the wall. We're going to do the same thing, forearms on the wall. Measure the distance between your elbows by holding opposite biceps. Then interlace your fingers. Step your feet back a little bit and start to slide elbows down. You want to see that your elbows are about level with your hips. Bend your knees a bit and push into your feet. Press into your wrists and your elbows. And then instead of sinking down towards the floor, push through your arms, reach back through sit bones so you get longer. All the way from elbows to sit bones, you create a little traction for yourself. Check on your breathing. Check on tension in your mouth. Feel that when you press arms into the wall, your shoulder blades spread towards your armpits again. Step one foot forward, stand all the way up, release your arms. Now grab your two blocks or your makeshift blocks, water bottles, <laughs> jars, whatever you have, and have them on the sides of your mat. Now, come up downward facing dog. First, we'll create a little bit of space between the feet and the wall. We're gonna get closer to it, but for now, lift sit bones up, stretch your left leg up onto the wall, three-legged dog. Now push the ball of the left foot into the wall, Bend the right knee a tiny bit and lift both of your sit bones higher in the air. Full breath in. Exhale, step your left foot forward and scoot the right foot back. So now the ball of the right foot is contacting the wall. Your heel is kind of going up the baseboard or up the wall. Now, like we did in those first lunges, pull your chest forward. Press the right foot back so you've got a lot of strength and then reach forward and up, crescent lunge. So you've got a strong bend in the front knee, but you're reaching back and pushing into the wall with the back leg. Notice if it's only big toe mound. See if you can feel some rooting through pinky toe mound, through the heel into the wall. Take one more breath, lift your chest, and exhale, plant your hands down. Go back, downward facing dog. Create a little space between you and the wall. Lift your sit bones high. Stretch the right leg up onto the wall. Toe mound on the wall, and everybody bend your standing leg. Look at it, and feel that when that leg is bent, both hips can rise a tiny bit higher. Full breath in, push the wall away. Exhale, step to a lunge. Slide the left foot back. You might have to adjust your lunge so right knee is still on top of right foot. Press back foot into the wall and then stretch the center of your chest forward. Keep the strength down into both of your feet. Reach forward, forward and up. Now feel strong roots into big toe mound, pinky toe mound, center of the heel in your front foot. On the back foot, feel equal pressure, pinky toe mound and big toe mound. And then press maybe that heel into the wall a little bit. See if that changes anything, front of the left hip. 
Breathe in, get half an inch taller. And exhale, plant both hands on the floor. Go back, downward facing, but now your feet are both on the wall, okay? On the floor, touching the wall. Tip your feet to the left so that you can push both feet into the wall and stretch right arm up and over your ear in a side plank. Now the idea of having the wall to push into keeps your lower body honest so that this doesn't become a left shoulder only pose, but it's a leg pose, it's an obliques pose, it's a left arm pose. Breathe in. Exhale, two hands down. Turn your feet down dog with your heels up on the wall. Tip your heels to the right. Press into the wall. Press into the right hand. Stretch left arm up and over. Feel the strength of your legs with that feedback of the wall. Take one more deep breath. Unwind two hands down. Downward facing. Create a little space between you and the wall. Stretch your left leg up onto the wall. We'll get off the arms momentarily. Breathe in, lift your sit bones high, push into the left foot. Exhale, step forward, lunge. Slide that right foot back so you're now touching the wall. Now, here's a spot. If you have two blocks, great. If you don't, absolutely not a worry. If you've got the two blocks, you might stack them. One medium height, one the tall height under the right thigh. Then tilt that top block backwards to meet the right thigh. So you've got a couple of boundaries now. Pressing back into the wall and pulling your thigh to meet this block so it doesn't fall down. Raise your arms up. If shoulders would prefer a break, absolutely hands on your hips, but fill yourself with breath. Clear the breath out. One more inhale. Exhale, two hands down. Ditch the blocks. Downward facing. Create a little space between you and the wall. Lift sit bones up high. Stretch the right leg up, toes on the wall, bend the left knee a little. Now lift sit bones up in the air. Breathe in, push the right leg stronger. Exhale, step forward. Slide the left foot back. Check the length of your stance. So right knee on top of right foot. Blocks if you have them. If not, you've got plenty of engagement otherwise. Stack your blocks. One medium, one tall. Tilt the tall block back to meet the left thigh. Now, feel the roots back into the wall. Feel the roots down into the right foot. Raise your arms if that's appropriate for you and then call on the breath. I know it's a lot of engagement. It's a lot of engagement in a really sticky place or shaky place as it is for me. One more breath. Release hands down. Blocks off to the side. Downward facing, feet touching the wall. Bend your knees, hips high. Now tip your heels to the left. Reach, right arm straight up. You can take a variation, perhaps tree pose. Push the left foot woo, into the wall very, very strongly to give you that feedback. The more you root, perhaps, the more rise you feel. Now release two hands down, bend your knees, lift your hips. Tip to the right. Press into the wall, sweep the left arm straight up. Stay here, press into both feet. Or tree pose, if you'd like another variation, 
by all means, but push into the wall. Raise the left knee higher. Get big across your wings. Take one more breath. Release, two hands down, downward facing. Bend your knees, place your knees down on the floor. How are we doing so far? You throwing things at your computer? Are you doing okay? Okay. Child's pose, knees wide. Extend your arms as far forward as you can. Rest your head on the floor. Then bring your palms together. Bend your elbows, thumbs towards the base of your neck. And once you get into position, you might notice that elbows could scoot a little further forward, or perhaps they could narrow a little bit. And you might notice that's not possible, so don't force it. Take one more full breath. Then rise up, hands and knees. Turn to face the wall. Grab your two blocks, if you have the two blocks. I don't think water bottles are gonna work for this one. So if you don't have blocks, don't worry, dolphin on the floor, absolutely perfect. Um, if you have one block, you can do the dolphin prelude. Elbows on the floor, squeeze the block. Reach your sit bones high and back. It's a lot of engagement, a lot of stretch through the armpits. Otherwise, blocks up against the wall, about shoulder width distance apart. Elbow tips, try to place them against the wall so your tricep is on the blocks, okay? Then press the pinky side of your hands into the wall a lot. Palms are together like they just were in child's pose. Then first option, reach your sit bones back like we did in that standing version of dolphin a few minutes ago. Push into the wall, reach your sit bones back. Now check on the breath, also check on your shoulders. Stay here or tuck your toes Lift your hips up, lift your knees up. Dolphin pose, I affectionately call on steroids. But again, the goal is not to drop your chest. Push into the wall, feel sit bones climb as much as possible. So you're getting longer. Take two more breaths, open mouth exhales if you need. One more. Place your knees down. Sit onto your heels. Close your eyes. Roll your shoulders a couple of times. Okay. Blink your eyes open. We'll give arms a pause. Come into downward facing dog, facing away from the wall. Little bit of distance between your feet and the wall. Stretch your left leg up. Push the left foot into the wall and feel your sit bones rise. When sit bones rise, you might feel right hamstrings get a little more focused stretch. Full breath in. Exhale, step forward, lunge. Slide the right foot back, foot on the wall. Now, if you have the two blocks, you can stack them exactly the same way. One the medium height, one the tall height. If you don't have the blocks, please don't worry. You can do the same engagement without them. Reach your arms high, press into the wall, feel the strength of the right leg. Now palms together, twist to the left. Now my friends, with the blocks, if you get too heavy on the blocks, they'll tumble. If you lose contact with the blocks, they'll tumble. So you've gotta keep strong engagement through the right leg. My friends, without the blocks, keep that strong engagement. 
Now extend your heart forward towards left kneecap and turn your chest any amount. Inhale, reach your heart forward. Exhale, turn the chest any amount. You can stay with palms together. You can bring right hand outside the left foot and sweep the left arm up. You can sweep the right arm, or excuse me, left up and over your ear, but feel for the foundation. Pressing into both feet, continuity of breath. Slow motion, unwind your twist, move the blocks, Hooey. downward facing dog. Create a little space between you and the wall. Feel shoulder blades spread towards your armpits. Then fill up with breath. Open mouth, exhale. Stretch the right leg up onto the wall. Bend the standing leg a little bit. And then press into the wall. Feel left sit bone, rise up, both sit bones, rise up, breathe in. Exhale, step forward, lunge. Slide the left foot back, press into the wall. Either stack your blocks, one medium height, one tall height, but everybody feel the strength of the back leg reaching. Inhale, stretch up. Stomp into that front foot, and then palms together, twist to the right. Pause the twisting action. Feel if the left thigh wants to hang heavy onto the blocks. Feel if it wants to come off the blocks. Try to keep that connection. Inhale, reach your heart forward. Exhale, see what's available with the twist. Inhale, extend your heart through. Exhale, maybe lift the heart towards your fingers. Stay here or left fingertips outside the right foot. Stretch right arm straight up. Check your roots down into both feet. Strengthen the back leg. Continuity of breath. If there's room, you can sweep right arm up alongside your ear, but please make sure that there's still breath. Slow motion, release, two hands down, move the blocks, downward facing dog. Now pause in down dog, or if there's a connecting vinyasa you'd like to take, plank to up dog or cobra pose, perhaps child's pose, but take three to five breaths, we'll meet back in downward facing. Okay, place your knees down for just a moment. So this next one, last bit of uh, engagement with the legs, but I want something that you can put your hands on. So if two blocks doesn't work, maybe like I said, water bottles or coffee table, chair even, just a four-legged chair that you could put your hands on. A uh, couple of ideas to make this work. So if you have the blocks, take them off the sides of the mat, the tall height. Come into downward facing. We'll start with feet touching the wall. Step the left foot forward. Lunge. Grab your two blocks. Then slide the left foot back a few inches. Push into the left foot and stretch the right foot up onto the wall. Warrior three shape. So your blocks or your support is gonna to have to be out in front of you so that your torso can be long instead of compressed in your torso, okay? Think of that capital T shape. So you're very much doing a Superman version of Warrior Three here. Feel the left foot stomp down, but keep that knee a little bent so you can level your hips. 
push right foot strongly into the wall. Stay here, breathe. Or extend left hand back alongside you. Pick up your belly button a lot. Maybe right hand back alongside you, even for a breath. Keep the contact into the wall, heart forward, hands come down, breathe in. Exhale, step down, forward fold, hip width apart, soften head and neck. Breathe in, flat back, press into both feet. Open mouth, exhale. Step back, downward facing, feet touch the wall, sit bones climb high. Step the right foot forward. Lunge, grab your two blocks. Slide the right foot back a few inches. Walk the blocks forward a few inches and set your left foot hip level high. So we're looking to stack right hip on top of the right foot. So that's the benefit maybe of having a camera is that you can see what's happening in your alignment. Then push into the floor, tiny bit of bend in the right knee so that both sit bones are reaching up and back. Pull your heart forward, long breaths. Push into the wall. Now breath might indicate that this is plenty or reach right hand back, stomp into the ground, lift your belly, maybe left hand back. I have to bring hands down. Take two more breaths, extend your heart forward, sit bones back. And then release, two feet down, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Empty the breath, hang heavy. Inhale, stand all the way up. Exhale, palms to your heart. Okay, so you've done the pieces of L pose. We did L pose in upright, okay? This, you can see with the body, creates an L. You can do it on forearms. You can come down to hands and knees, feet again touching the wall. Let's do it on hands, hands directly under shoulders. When you lift into down dog like this, it's gonna feel pretty compressed. That should indicate that you're doing it correctly. One foot up, just hip level high. Push the wall away and stretch your left leg straight up in the air. So here you are making L's again. Push hands into the ground to try to feel shoulder blades spread wide instead of hugging up toward your ears. If you've got one foot on the wall, switch, other foot on the wall. Climb up higher through that foot that's in the air and push into the wall to give you some stability. Step one foot down, other foot down. Sit on your heels, soften your neck and shoulders. Soften the edges of your breath. And then in this moment, uh, beyond like or dislike, I'm good at that, I'm not good at that. Beyond those labels, what's the feeling? Like I said, for me, feels shaky. Breath in particular feels shaky for me today. I can feel some steadiness and rooting in my body, but the breath is still shaky. When you're ready, blink your eyes open. Now two hand supports. <clears throat> and we'll scoot back towards the wall. I prefer to double up the mat for this. You can always use a blanket or a bath towel as well, but a little bit of unwinding of the legs. 
So left leg onto the wall, knee to the wall, foot goes up the wall. First stage of this, right knee forward. So you're in kind of this modified lunge. Now it tends to get really heavy into the low back. So feel your legs kind of drag towards one another. So you create some lift instead of the feeling of sinking, okay? Lift your navel. Now breathe here. We're not gonna go for the full katona, 20 minutes on each leg, so don't worry. Just a couple of variations, okay? So if this is the place that you need to work and steady your breath, do that. Otherwise, perhaps you press into the blocks and step the right foot forward into a lunge. I prefer to have blocks the tall height or some support here so that you can work the descent of your hips and this reach forward in your chest. If there is a little more room, you could turn blocks down a level and reach your chest through again. But what I don't want is the inside the turtle shell posture, okay? But more the reaching forward coming out of it. Looking where you're going instead of being stuck. Because we got plenty of that going on. So where can we find a little space? Take three more breaths to feel pelvis descend, reach your heart through your arms. Now, if you've got blocks or books, you can bring blocks to the inside of the right foot, scoot the right foot a little to the right, and then place elbows down. You can always do hands on the floor on the inside of your foot, but same idea, whatever depth you choose, please focus on reaching your heart through your arms. And my bendy friends, notice that maybe the right knee likes to fall out, the right foot likes to fall out. Reset a strong foundation into the right foot. Two more deep breaths. Okay, maybe three or four. <laughs> Last one. Now prop up onto your hands. Blocks to either side. Now, if this doesn't work, great news, there's lots of options. Scoot the right foot back and set the right knee wide for pigeon pose. The left leg is still up the wall. Now, if this doesn't work, you can do pigeon on the floor. If that doesn't work, figure four, lying on your back, ankle to knee pose. If you've got blocks, one the medium height, under the center of your chest, one under your head. Now, a couple of breaths just to soften here. Now, lift your head. Use the leverage of your arms to pull your chest forward. And imagine the right sit bone reaching back for the wall. So again, you create that length that we've been working all along. And now call on the length of your breath. Slow motion prop up onto your hands. Walk your arms to the left until you can slide that left foot off 
have a seat on the right hip for a moment. And then come hands and knees. If you need a little energetic release, you can tap your feet. Open mouth exhales. And then we'll go right to the other side. Okay, right knee up the wall. Draw the left knee forward first. So the variation of the lunge. Press the right foot into the wall a bit and squeeze your legs towards one another. So you create some lifting instead of sinking. Navel lifting as well. Now stay here or press into the blocks to help you set the left foot in the lunge. You can stay with blocks the tall height. You can turn blocks medium height. But again, feel for pelvis descending forward and down. Extend your chest forward and up. So just check on the feeling. Is it one of pushing down and curling into yourself or the sensation of length? And I know that might change the stretch a bit, but tune in to the breath as the barometer to help you to know if this is the best place to stay or if you need to change something. Now slow motion, both blocks on the inside or both hands on the inside. Scoot left foot an inch or two to the left and stay on your hands or lower elbows down. But same goals in mind, length of breath, length of your spine. So let those take priority over the depth of the shape. Two more deep breaths. Feel a firm anchor in the front foot. Then prop up onto your hands, onto the blocks. Scoot the left foot back. Set the left knee fairly wide on the mat for pigeon. And it might take a little bit of adjusting but feel your legs do that same hugging towards one another. Anchor through the left foot, then lower. Chest onto one block if you have it, head onto the other. If no blocks, no problem, lower down onto your elbows and try to let your head be heavy for a few breaths. Now lift your head, extend your heart further forward. Imagine left sit bone reaching back towards the wall. So you create a little bit of traction in your spine. You might highlight the stretch in left glutes when you do that. Slow motion, prop up onto your hands.
turn yourself a little to the right so you can slide the right foot down. Have a seat onto the left hip. Woo. Swing your legs around. Shake them out. Then extend your mat out if you folded it up. And sit down with one hip next to the wall. Swing your legs up the wall for Viparita Karani. If you've got a strap or a scarf that you want to tie around your legs for support, you can absolutely do that. Otherwise, just let them rest about hip width or slightly wider apart from each other. If you prefer to do something like a straddle, Upavista Kanasana or Baddha Kanasana, you can absolutely do that. Just make sure that you've got a kind of support that feels really good for you. Rest your arms wherever they're comfortable. Start to let your eyes get heavy in their sockets. And then take a moment to experience your breath here. Where do you notice your body change shape? Some of you are probably very good belly breathers. Some of you might notice neck and chest. Notice if there's any connection to the sides of your body as you breathe. Any connection to the back of your body as you breathe. And then we'll start to cultivate a three-dimensional breath to finish up here. So visualize three tanks for breath. The lowest tank is the largest. It's low belly, pelvis, the whole bowl of the pelvis, and your low back. Middle tank, chest, rib cage, upper back. Upper tank across your collarbones and across the base of your neck on the back side. So when we get going, it will be three counts to the lowest, two to the middle, one to the upper, pausing in the fullness, and then we'll exhale six counts to release. Okay, take a full breath in through your nose. Long, slow exhale through your mouth. So you unhinge your jaw and your lips for a moment. Do that again. Inhale through your nose. Long, easy exhale through the mouth. Purse your lips. Inhale, low belly, pelvis, low back, chest, upper back, collarbones, hold. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one, pause. Three dimensional, inhale, low belly, pelvis, low back, chest, upper back, collarbones, hold. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one, pause. Inhale down low, one, two, three, middle, one, two, collarbones, hold. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one, pause in the stillness. Inhale, one, two, three, one, two, one. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one, pause. Inhale, one, two, three, one, two, one, pause, feel fullness. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one, pause in the stillness. Inhale, one, two, three, one, two, one, Feel that fullness. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause, 
still. Inhale, one, two, three, one, two, one, pause, soften. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one, pause, still. Last round, one, two, three, one, two, one, soften in the fullness. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one, pause. Now easy breaths in and out. And just notice the quality of energy moving through you after a lot of attention, a lot of engagement, but also some very intentional breathing. Notice if it feels any less shaky in this moment, any steadier any more easeful. to take some deeper, more energizing breaths. And take your time to move fingers and toes. And perhaps roll your head from one side to the other. If you like, reach your arms overhead, semi full body stretch. And when you're ready, bend your knees, curl to one side. And take your time to press yourself upright. Bring your palms together. Bow your chin, raise your chest. A gesture of reverence dedicated to your engagement, your attention, your willingness, your body, each other in this practice. For all of your engagement, your willingness, your receptivity, I bow. Thank you so much. 